Hey guys, welcome to another video. We're gonna look at Snapchat. We are gonna predict the future. Don't you wish you could predict the future? I'm sure we all wish we could predict the future, but you kinda can. You kind of can because unlike a lot of other things, unlike silver, unlike gold, unlike maybe even crypto, Snapchat, like other stocks, is a business. And we can roughly estimate, or at least analysts can't, I can't, but analysts can estimate and tell us how good or how bad the business is doing. And they do that with sites like Seeking Alpha. When you go to Seeking Alpha, they tell you what analysts are expecting for earnings. So here we are, we have the analyst expectations for 2023, 24, 25, 26. We have multiple years of analyst expectations. All right, so what is what does what good does that do for us? Well, we can estimate the value in the future and then we can also play with different prices to figure out where we would want to buy it, where the price is too high and a pass, where it's super cheap and a buy. And the way you do it is you got to have a valuation methodology. You got to have a system. And this is why those old men, those old wise old men, they're so useful. They've lived over some of them almost 100 years like Warren Buffett and Peter Lynch. And they, they give us insights. And this is where we apply their insights. So I have here the years. I have the earnings per share all from Seeking Alpha. These aren't my numbers. These are Seeking Alpha, and you can get them from multiple sources. Once you have those earnings and you apply some formulas, you can get a few different valuations and look at the potential future. And it'll change, I promise that. So if we have the furthest year out, we have 2028. And I can tell you that, hey, in a good market, Snapchat, if they earn the dollar in 2028, which we got from Seeking Alpha, if they earn a dollar two or a dollar three, well, that company will have four different potential stock prices. In a good market, it could be worth $31, which is twice the growth rate. Peg ratio, peg two, I call it. Twice the growth rate times the dollar gives us 31 bucks we would make a profit, wouldn't we? In a weaker market, you might get something closer to $15, or if it's an average PE, also $15. Or if something really bad is going on, but they still earn a dollar, um, it might be worth $8. So now we know roughly what we would expect or hope for in the future. However, we don't have to pay the $10.69, which is what Snapchat is going at. We could we could run a hypothetical. What if it's worth 15? What if it's worth seven? So uh, I know recently it traded around seven. So let's say, let's, let's say, let's say the lowest price was 768. What would our return be if we paid 768? And I have that down here at the bottom. If if we pay the current price, we will get some return for that given year. So we're looking at 2028. Let's say it's 768. Oops. And we're going to... We're going to look at the return if we buy it at 768. Well, we know that if we buy it at 768 and it goes to $31, obviously, what is that? Quadruple your money. And the return at 31, that would be the same thing as earning 32% in the bank. If it doesn't go to $31 and instead it goes to $15, which is one times the growth rate, well, then we get a 15% compounded annualized return. So this takes time into 
uh, into the equation. I recommend you get yourself one of these worksheets for yourself. Uh, I made my own, but there's a lot of a lot of worksheets that you can get, download off the internet, uh, or you you make your own form because you can really do a fantastic analysis. I have a bunch of different other stock worksheets, like I have one here for Palantir, I have one here for Coupang, but you you want to have you want to have a map of the potential future for a business. It just helps helps you make decisions faster. The market moves quick. If the market goes down, you go to your worksheet and you say, wait, what, what is this business doing? Do I like it here? Do I not? Valuation. I love valuation. So hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know. If you want me to look at another stock with my worksheet, go ahead and comment. Cheers.